Jerry, the competition that almost nobody seems to want to win, certainly in the early stages, the Europa, you know, the, the Europa League final, semi finals are on their way. We now have Chelsea as the last British side in it. Uh, they play Basel, and of course, you've got Fernabache in against Benfica. Now, Jerry, how do you see that panning out? You're saying nobody wants to win. Have you told Rafa Benitez that? Because <laughs> Rafa is desperate to win a trophy as interim manager of Chelsea. And they will be the favourites, obviously. And it's all in, it's all in their favour because the first leg is away at Basel. And I know Rafa will, will want to do well there. I actually think um, Basel are a decent side. If you can beat Tottenham, you know, over two legs, then you've got to be a good side. So um, don't be complacent again against Basel. Um, I actually, I'm looking at the odds there. Nine to four the draw. I think that's got draw written all over it. I would say score draw and um, Chelsea to go through to the final. Um, Basel, good outfit, but Chelsea have so much quality. But Jerry, this Basel side, you know, as you say, they outplayed Spurs. I think Chelsea are a better team than Spurs, but they also uh, outplayed Man United in the Champions League not so long ago as well too. You know, they, 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 they actually can play great football. No, they can't. And Switzerland beat Spain in, in the opening game of the World Cup before Spain went on and won it. You know, so on their day... They are a handful. They will cause a few problems. It's the fact that they've got the first leg at home. And I just think that Chelsea, with the firepower they've got, you know, I'm looking at their, the, the, the forward players, the attacking players that they've got. And um, Hazard is such a good player. He scores goals from midfield. You've got Mata, who is just world class for me. And Torres is starting to pop up with the odd goal as well. So they're just starting to hit the right sort of form. I think Chelsea are a very good cup side. And Frank Lampard, I don't think there's been a better goal-scoring midfield player in Europe, in the world, in the last five or six years. So um, I'm going to go with Chelsea overall. I think it'll be a draw the first leg, but I fancy Chelsea to go through to the final. And the way things are going, you know, Rafa Benitez, he might end up with a few Chelsea fans actually applauding him and even liking him before the season's over. Well, someone's going to have to like him if he wins the trophy, <laughs> I think, Logie. But um, he, he will be leaving the club at the end of the season. And depending on what happens with Mourinho, Mourinho can end up going to Chelsea and Rafa can end up going to Real Madrid. It could be a swap, you know, with the managers there. So that's all That's all for the future. But there's so much more still to, to be... Uh, decided in the league even though there's only four or five weeks left it's going to be really exciting I think when you look at the semi-final draw most people would have said the winners will come from Chelsea against Basel and as you say you're tipping Chelsea which is probably the right bet Fernabache against Benfica now Benfica would have been tipped by many and yet they weren't that impressive in the last leg um, good side Benfica like Porto and Sporting Lisbon those are the big names in, in Portuguese football um, they're a very hard team to beat Fernabache would be the second biggest name, I would say, in, in Turkish football. Galatasaray has always been a bigger name, but Fernabache on their day are a very good side. Again, I'm, I'm sort of favouring Fernabache to maybe win the home leg, but because the second leg's in Benfica, I then have a half a, half a thought that Benfica will, will, will go through because they know what they have to do in front of their own fans. So that's the way I see that, but there's not an awful lot to choose between them. That's a really tight one to call. There's virtually nothing between the two sides. And Jerry, does it show the um, the standing of the Premier League? The fact that the you know no Champions League team you know in the latter stages, and then only one British side left now in the Europa League semi-finals. Does it show you that maybe the Spanish and the German leagues and things like that are certainly are in front of them, and others are catching up quickly? We discussed this before, Logan. Actually, said the Premier League is a great league, but um, the pressures and the style of football they play. You know, it's, it's a really fast and, and competitive league and it takes an awful lot out of the players and you have to have a massive squad. Um, technically, I do feel that the Spanish league is the best league in the world. I've said that before. You know, and the German league is, again, you, you look at Bayern Munich, they've won the league already, 20 points clear. You know, you have to be something special. I was looking at their, their, their through to the final, the German cup final. Um, Goetze, who we talked about, uh, Mario Goetze, has scored a hat-trick last night. You've got... Uh, the likes of Arjen Robin, who's just a class player. Dieter Müller, class player. They're full of international players. You know, they've got a, a great squad. Don't write off the German league. The German league is a good league. And I think that the Premier League has just got a wee bit complacent. <coughs> it's interesting the fact that uh, you talk about that. You know, Spain are number one in the world in the world rankings. Germany are number two. Uh, Brazil have slipped to 17th or something. they got their worst ever standing in, in world rankings. That's unbelievable. It is. But then half of the squad for Brazil is playing in Europe. And the other half's playing in Brazil, so it's you know half, you know half a planet away, as I say, and and who knows how they're going to balance the fact that the the World Cup's going to be in Brazil, 
watch out for the fireworks because they're on the home territory. If they've got the right manager and they've certainly got the right players, they're still the, one of the teams that they're all going to have to beat. Yeah. Argentina for me in that one, Jerry, but there you <laughs> are. We'll leave that for another day.